everyone. Welcome to It's in the Bag Crochet with Darla. Um, today is Things We're Making Thursday. And so I'm here to show you my progress on my owl basket. This is the pattern we're working on this month. It's by Yarnspirations. It's a free pattern. Um, if you're not sure about what our collab is, it's a year-long collab that us ladies are doing, um, some content creators, and we each month we will pick a new free pattern from somewhere. It may be Yarnspirations, somewhere else, but it will be free, and it will be something that we feel that we can finish within a month's time. Then each Thursday we will come on and we will show you our progress. And the neat thing about it is there's a lot of us working on this now. We've had a lot of people join us this month. And so it's neat to see how everyone chooses different colors. Um, you know, they may just change something up in the pattern, kind of make it their own. So it's really cool to go around and watch each one of us. We do have a hashtag now, hashtag things we're making. And that should um, go where you can be able to watch us all. I don't know how exactly that works, but let me just tell you who all is involved. Um, there's Heather from Strings and Threads, Jess from J Hook Magic, Jenna from Jenna Stitches, Erin from Crafting Kitty, Tiffany from CMM Designs. Brandy from Bee's Crafty Corner. Linda at Lefty's Crochet and Knit. Teresa at Critter's Crochet. Julia at Dood Doodly's Crochet, a.k.a. Julia. Uh, just Yacinda at SMH Crochet. And Shannon at Shannon at 112th Street. And I will post them in the description box below. So this is um, my progress so far. I'm almost, I think I've got it just about as tall as I want it. I may go a couple more rows. It's supposed to be 10 inches high, but I kind of didn't count my rows. I just kind of was measuring to try to get it to that amount. But I'm I'm a little ways off. But um, this is uh, where you take two strands of yarn, and I just to I chose to use the same color. But if I do another one, I will do two different colors because I've seen those ones and I think they are they're really nice looking. So um, that's where I'm at. Um, you do use a J hook and the thing with, um, that I've had trouble with, um, is just my hand getting tired with the two strands and the J hook. So I maybe should have gone up a hook size, but I was already doing it. Now, one thing that's changed since I've been working on this project, um, and only on this project is I normally hold my crochet hook pencil ways and I crochet like that, um, you know, like this. And with this project, I've had to go to being a knife crocheter. And um, because it, it's so thick and I'm not used to that, and it works up easier and faster this way with this project. Now, I don't know if I can use, do it that way with all my projects because I was just taught to do it like this and that's what I've always done. So that's one thing that's changed um, while I've been doing this, this project. So um, I think that's about all I have to say about this project. Um, it hasn't been difficult. Um, my bottom kind of looks a little funky 
like it's too big for the basket but um I don't know if you can tell but um and I asked my fellow collabers about it and um they said theirs was kind of doing that a little bit and just to keep building up the walls so that's what I'm doing um, also just to mention we do have a Facebook page so if you're um, wanting to work on this project post your pictures on our Facebook page under this same name things we're making Thursday and um, we will add you to our videos our update videos every Thursday and it's great to see all the people that are involved over there and um, you know the different styles and you know their their take on it so it's been really fun I love this collab um, I've met some people that I didn't know and that's always good for me so um, I do have if I can do it right my editing techniques aren't the best my video making techniques aren't the best but I do the best I can um, there will be a, a little short video of a few people um, that posted on Facebook their their makes and I will put that at the end of this video um, I do have some happy mail today some Valentine cards came in today from my Valentine swap and I need to do my stitch marker opening and so I will do that in a different video um, I like to pretty much keep this to the things we're making Thursday so with that said I will let you go and um, please like and subscribe and comment on this video hit the um, notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I put up a video and I do appreciate you all and take care. We'll see you next time.